Hi guys and welcome to C++ tutorial of a multiplication timetable developed using a for loop. Let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to click on reset. There we go. The system is now asking me to confirm if I want to reset or not. I'm going to say no. You see that? But if I just say reset, there we go. Now let's try out maybe 12 times table there and we can exit if we want or oh, say no but I'm going to exit out and I'll take you guys straight into C++ builder environment and we put one of these together so let's come in here now okay we click on new and we select new projects or oh, you can come in here and just select create new windows VCL or you go to new and select window VCL there there we go our application is ready so I'm going to define the size of this form I'm going to wait, make the width of uh, about let's go for 900 let's see how big that is I think it might be a little bit too much. We'll make it 800. And the width, I'm going to make the width, no, the height, I'm going to make that about 600. Come right here and just look for height. Make that 600. There we go. Now, come right here. Let's get hold of a list box. So we get hold of a leaks box here, drag and drop it right there. And let's extend the size that much. That's fine. Now the next thing is I'm gonna get hold of buttons. Have a button here, bring that here. I will need three of those somewhere there now we need an editor we have one here then list box no we need a label C label there we go paste that in there now all of this component I'm going to select it all and increase the font size let's come in here and just change that to something a little bit more more readable so I'm gonna make that about 30 yeah 36 and make that bold there now we have to copy this button copy control C paste and paste that again let's move all of this up copy and paste there now this one here I'm just going to enter the following text on it maybe enter enter a number there let's increase the size of this something like that okay and here we change that to maybe times table time table okay now here I'm going to change that to reset and this will be exit there we go okay and that is how my interface is gonna look like you see this text or editor or text editor let's come in here and just get that aligned get the text aligned center there and let's get rid of the text content in there there and maybe the variable name you can change that if you want this one is right here you can say e d times table or something like that okay that's good that one has a name and this button is going to be 
ed times table no btn btn times table and let's just call that oh that is correct times table now let's grab hold of this we change this to btn reset and we then have btn exit btn exit there we go all right and this one let's just call it lst times table okay all our naming is done now let's double click on this one here this very button timetable button double click on it hold on let's just increase the size of this a little bit more that's fine now and I'm going to repeat the same thing for this once as well okay that's fine double click on time table button and on the time time table button in there I'm going to declare the following variable j comma that's q comma j now end that with a semicolon I'm now come down here I'm going to say j that will be equals whatever value I have in that text box however it has to be converted to an integer so the first value that goes in there let's just say ed timetable pointer text there so the first one is taken care of now underneath here i am going to now use the following array let's say four Q equals one column Q less than and equals to twelve. Then we then say Q plus plus. Right, that's fine. So press enter, open up a bracket, equally bridges. So I'm going to say list timetable. Yeah, list timetable and get a pointer is pointing to items then we have another pointer add and we want it to convert to string there and what are we converting to string that is going to be the value inside there Okay, so we're going to repeat the same thing for the other. So I'm going to say plus, and this one is going to be integer to string. There. So open up your bracket, that will be J. Now let's grab hold of this. We should have, I should have entered. Um, because I need to get it concatenated, bring them together. So I'm going to say, let's say multiply by, let's enter your own speech mark. There we go. That's the first one taken care of. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other one here. So let's copy this and paste that right here. Okay, so but we must enter a plus sign there. And let's close this. It's open here, get it closed here there we go okay so here we then need to say q multiplied by j All right so let's come right here and just say q multiply that by j all right let's see why do i have all this okay look i wrote string it should just be s t r yeah that's fine now okay I think I think I'm able to down. Now here I'm gonna change that to equals. So that should be the sign equals in here. There we go. Okay guys, let's try that out. But before I do that, I'm gonna save this file first. So let's go straight to file and select save all. So I just call that timetable. there we go let's copy that open up a form 
paste that in there and this is going to be let's say underscore c underscore c here which stands for the source let's see we have yeah we do have timetable folder in there so click on save and the other one that opens up that is for all of the files so save that right in here as well so that is our saved now this other one that is going to be for the project let's say underscore p and save that now let's try it out run enter whatever value in there there we go it's working as we want now the next thing to do is i need to take care of this clear and um, exit so first of all let's go straight into the exit double click on exit and right inside the exit we enter the following lines of codes that is for the exit and another way to exit you can use application dot terminate so let's run that and make sure the exit works right there we go exit no it doesn't work okay exit out so i'm going to copy these exit lines of codes and i'll come in here double click on reset paste that in there and let's change this to reset right and the variable I'm going to call the variable I exit this very one here I exit and this one becomes I exit okay so that is that done now let's run it save first and you run there we go enter whatever value in there yeah exit yes okay I'm going to repeat the same thing for okay that's it it's working now let's enter something in there and we want to clear clear yes it's working all right so that is all there is to it this is the lines of code for for no let's clear for clear that should be clear so that is ed times table times table the text that is equals there we go right and LST times table oops let's get rid of all of that we meant to go down so here becomes LS LST times table and that is going to be with a pointer then we want items and add what are we adding no we actually clearing we're not adding clear there we go that is the clear taken care of now let's run it and see run enter whatever value in here yeah and reset no reset yes okay and that's how you create your own multiplication timetable using a for loop so have a good look at the lines of code that's for reset and the next one here is for exit okay then finally for loop that was used in creating the multiplication timetable so guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now